welcome to commerce class. We are starting with Senior Secondary School 1. Table of Content Introduction to Commerce Meaning Scope Functions Characteristics and Electronic Commerce also known as e-commerce. History of Commerce Historical Background Factors Affecting the Growth of Commerce and the Barter System. We also talk about occupation, meaning, classification, and factors that determine types of occupation and employment. Also, production, division of labor, specialization, and exchange. Here we talk about their meaning, classifications, and interrelationship. Commerce. Commerce is the secondary activity of production. Production is an act of making goods to satisfy human wants. Commerce is also trade and aids to trade. It is the buying and selling of goods as well as rendering of auxiliary services like banking, insurance, communication, advertising, warehousing, and transportation in order to satisfy human wants. A chart showing the major divisions of commerce. We have commerce is subdivided into two divisions. We have the trade and aids to trade. Under trade, we have home trade and foreign trade. Under home trade, we have retailing and warehousing. Under foreign trade, we have imports, exports, and extra ports. Under aids to trade, we have banking, transportation, communication, insurance, warehousing, tourism, and advertising. Transportation. It is the movement of goods and people from where they are produced, factories, to where they are needed, that is market. Banking, it enables traders to save their daily returns or income until large enough for further purchase of large stock. It provides loans either for setting up new business units or for efficient running and expansion of existing ones. Communication. Here, it is transmission of information. It facilitates business transaction as it brings two people, we have sellers and buyers, into close contact irrespective of the distance. Warehousing as an auxiliary activity to trade is an activity that involves safekeeping or proper storage of goods until the time they are needed and bought. Advertising it is an activity that involves stimulating consumers' interest towards the purchases and consumption, that's uses of goods and services. Insurance. It guides against all forms of risk. It protects businesses from unexpected business failure or collapse. Tourism. It provides accommodation, food, entertainment, and other services like transportation, laundry, etc. So people who visit other countries for the purpose of pleasure. Scope of commerce. It refers to all areas dealt with in or covered by commerce like banking, transportation, insurance, trade, warehousing, advertising, communication, tourism. Banking subsector, a specialist of commerce can work in banking industry. So let's talk about functions of commerce. It exchanges goods for money. 
it creates utility, it creates time utility, safekeeping of money, it creates demand for goods, it stabilizes prices, it acts as a link, it reduces business risks, it provides communication facilities, it provides capital. Characteristics of commerce. Economic activity. A trader buys and sells goods to earn profit and wealth. Commerce is an economic activity. It is expressed in monetary terms. Another characteristic is profit. The motive of commerce is to earn profit. Profit drives the engine of commerce. Another one is marketing. Marketing involves exchange, distribution, and production of products. We have also component of business. Commerce is a component of business. It deals in goods produced by industry. And we also have utility. It creates place and time utilities to satisfy customers' needs. Electronic commerce also known as e-commerce. Electronic commerce or e-commerce refers to the use of an electronic medium to carry out commercial transactions. It covers sales of products and services via internet. A client who purchases on the internet is called cyber consumer. Electronic commerce that's e-commerce. It's not only limited to online sales, but also covers preparation of estimates online, consulting of users, provision of an electronic catalog, access plan to point of sales, online payment, delivery tracking, after sales service, and real-time management of product availability. That's stock. So let's talk about characteristics of electronic commerce. These include customer relationship management, establishment of business to business relationship, exchange of information, electronic payments, pre and post sales support, electronic distribution of products and services, importance of e commerce. E-commerce influences purchase decisions, it taps into social media, it is convenient for consumers, it can broaden your brand, in other words, it broadens the brand of a company. E-commerce also offers a personalized experience. So here let's talk about historical background of commerce. Commerce came into existence through the introduction of trade by barter. Introduction the industrialization revolution in Europe led to infection, invention, high quality products, the adoption of modern medium of exchange, e.g., coins and currency notes, introduction of auxiliary services, aid to trade. Commerce became fully developed as a result of introduction of technology economy. Political and economic development created numerous employment opportunities. So let's talk about factors that enhance development of commerce in West Africa. We have advent of Europe, rapid development of both social and economic amenities like roads, seaports, airports, electricity, and so on and so forth. We also have establishment of trading firms and importation of goods. Importation of goods and setting up of numerous retail outlets. We also have establishment of manufacturing firms. This brought about mass production of variety of high quality goods. Development of infrastructure facilities. Also, we also have acquisition of knowledge, availability of capital, Indigenization policy, availability of labor with keen interest in trade. So let's talk about factors affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. These include 
high rate of illiteracy, rampant incidence of poverty, poor infrastructural facilities, inadequate auxiliary services, poor postage and communication system, production of sales of similar products, constant political crisis, and lack of common currency. Occupation. What is occupation? It is a particular work in which the person is permanently engaged and from which he or she earns his or her living. So a greater part of his or her income. So let's talk about sources of occupation. They are as follows. We have industry, commerce, and services. A chart showing source of occupation. Occupation is divided into three. We have industry, commercial, services. Under industry, we have extractive stage, manufacturing stage, and constructive stage. Under commercial, we have trade and aids to trade. Under services, we have direct and indirect. Under industry, there we have extractive, manufacturing, and constructive. Under extractive stages, I mean, on our extractive stage, we have farming, fishing, mining, querying. On the manufacturing, we have food production, textile, bag making, industrial work. On the construction.